and already we have some noises from a baby. And this is my, hi, I'm back. And you know what? I'm back and I'm still real. Look at this. My hair is not done. I'm wearing no makeup. And this is how I pretty much am every day. Those beautiful photos you see of me, well, that's because I'm wearing makeup and I did my hair. But this time, I didn't, just like all my videos. Well, it's been a while though, right? So, one of the reasons I've been gone, well, you heard her. <gasps> Baby number two. Oh yeah, do the cute yawn. My room is also a mess. But, um, I had to take a little bit of time off, um, not just because this cute little munchkin or the other crazy, much older munchkin that I used to talk about all the time, but because of something that I didn't really talk too much about, there's a couple posts here and there, um, but that's uh, postpartum depression. So after having my son, I didn't really tell a lot of people, but I was diagnosed with postpartum depression. And that's actually one of the reasons why I went kind of more full force into GBR life, um, because I wanted to talk. And sometimes it's just good as a mom to talk to other people. And that's what I kind of wanted to make this video about today. Um, postpartum depression. There's a little baby who's starting to fall, so I gotta, I gotta fix her. Okay. Oh, let's get you back up. Get her back up. <laughs> So, postpartum depression. Now, I could give you a list of a whole bunch of things that is, this is a sign for this, this is a sign for that, all that wonderful stuff. Here's the thing. I think we all kind of just know something's up. Something's different about you um, after you give birth. And one thing I have just learned is that it can happen anytime for up to a year after having a baby. And it's really, really, really important for me to put my face out there <laughs> with no makeup and mess up hair, right? Because <laughs> that's real. Because this is real. And postpartum depression has to be talked about. I'm a face. I had it. I have it. And here's the thing about it, too. I never thought I'd be that person with it. I have, I mean, you can ask anybody. I've wanted kids my entire life since I was like... Since I was a baby, I wanted babies. Uh, it just is who I am. So when I had my son and I felt different and a little less attached and just, it was different, I knew something was up. I knew that I wasn't normal. I wasn't the same person that I always was. Wanting kids, wanting to be a mom, and don't get me wrong, first kid, it's definitely a big changer in your life. I mean, you got to get used to a lot of things. Um, there's no more you time. It's all about your kid. People don't even really ask about you. And that's important also for people to remember is mom is important. Mom is still a person. Mom has feelings, thoughts. She's still who she is. And I've said this in a few of my other videos. I'm Caitlin. I'm still Caitlin. Just because I have these beautiful, wonderful children doesn't mean she keeps falling. I have to keep going back and fixing her. But she's really cute, huh? Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you're no longer who you are just because you have kids. And people forget that because they're so excited about the kid, they often forget. They do the generic, like, oh, hey, how's mom? No, really, how is mom? And maybe talk to mom more about the things other than like baby you know you can ask like how's baby doing is everything good there and things like that but maybe ask the question too um uh, how how uh well are you sleeping do you need me to help you in any capacity i brought you some food <laughs> things like that are amazing and you know moms just just don't get any help anymore like that um, it's a lot of expectations because of the way that things were, but life isn't the same. So it's funny and I'll get into that in a whole nother video. But, um, this one's just me trying to put a face to postpartum depression. It's real. In addition to that, there's also postpartum anxiety, postpartum stress, um, postpartum 
anger. I mean, th there's a list. If you're feeling not okay, different, unhappy after having a baby, talk to your doctor. Tell them what you're feeling. Tell them what's going on. And don't be ashamed, really. And if they're not listening to you, find a doctor who will. Because that doctor's not worth it. And you are worth it. You're important. You need to be heard. So, I'm back. I'm ready to make some more videos. I've got some great stuff to talk about. Um, you might see uh, me wearing similar outfits uh, in my videos, so don't judge. <laughs> Even if you do judge, I don't care. Um, but I'm really excited to be back. And um, yeah, so just keep checking out gbrlife.com. Uh, that's good, bad, real life dot com um but it's the acronym so gbrlife.com again gbrlife.com could i say it any more times um and check out the new content uh you should have uh the ability to see a new video every saturday um that will be posted and this one's posted today which is not a saturday but i did it on purpose because i needed to let you all know i'm back okay see you all soon uh if you have any questions please feel free to comment or send me an email. She's falling again.